Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about fertility and reproduction and the important medical terminology concerning this topic. We will talk about its measurement, the characteristics and influencing factors. We will also make an international comparison, talk about the current global trends, the impacts on society and the world, and the importance of birth registration. Fertility and reproduction are critical components of human life and society. The ability to measure and understand fertility rates, reproductive characteristics, the terminology of life birth, gestational age and the factors influencing fertility rates is essential for policymakers, healthcare professionals and researchers. Let's begin this video with the most important terminology. In the assessment of fertility rates, we often talk about the number of live births. A live birth is defined as the complete expulsion or extraction of a product of human conception from the mother, irrespective of the duration of pregnancy, which, after such expulsion or extraction, breathes or shows any other evidence of life, such as a beating heart, pulsation of the umbilical cord or definitive movement of voluntary muscles, whether or not the umbilical cord has been cut or the placenta is attached. We can classify births by the timing they occur in or the birth weight. A normal birth weight is between 2500 and 4000 gram. A low birth weight is below 2500 gram a very low birth weight, below 1,500 g, and an extremely low birth weight, below 1,000 g. Reasons for a low birth weight are premature birth, intrauterine growth restriction, poor maternal nutrition, multiple pregnancies, especially low or high maternal age, genetic factors, low socioeconomic status, inequad prenatal care, and environmental pollutants and toxins. The assessment of the incidence of low birth weight births usually correlates with the quality of prenatal health, the health care of the country and the care for the mothers to be. Reasons for large birth weight are mainly maternal metabolic or genetic problems and mothers who are themselves constitutionally larger. In the next part, I would like to talk about the determinants of fertility. Determinants of fertility refer to the factors or variables that influence a population's level of fertility or the number of children born to individuals or couples within a specific population or time frame. These determinants can vary across individuals, societies and regions and understanding them is crucial for analyzing and predicting fertility patterns and trends. We divide determinants of fertility into different groups. Those groups are biological, behavioral, social, political and health determinants. Biological determinants include the age at which individuals enter and exit their reproductive years, which has a direct impact on fertility. Women have a finite window of fertility, with the highest chances of conception occurring in their 20s and early 30s. The onset of menstruation, known as menarche, marks the beginning of a woman's reproductive capacity. The age at which menarche occurs varies across individuals and populations and can influence the overall reproductive lifespan. Similarly, menopause, the cessation of menstrual cycles, indicates the end of a woman's fertility. The timing of menopause can also vary and affects the duration of a woman's reproductive period. Another factor is ovulation, which is necessary for fertilization and pregnancy. Regular and timely ovulation is a crucial biological determinant of fertility. Factors such as hormonal imbalances, polycystic ovarian syndrome and certain medical conditions can disrupt ovulation, 
leading to difficulties in conceiving. Spontaneous abortions, commonly known as miscarriages, refer to the loss of a pregnancy before the 20th week of gestation. Genetic abnormalities, hormonal imbalances, uterine abnormalities or maternal health conditions can contribute to miscarriages. Experiencing recurrent miscarriages can impact fertility and reproductive outcomes. Infertility is another factor influencing fertility. Behavioral determinants significantly influence fertility patterns and reproductive choices. These determinants are related to the behaviors, attitudes and practices of individuals and communities. Key behavioral determinants of fertility include the employment rate of women. Higher rates of female employment may lead to delayed childbearing as women prioritize career advancement and economic stability before starting a family. Women with higher levels of education tend to have more knowledge about family planning and greater economic opportunities. Education empowers women to make informed decisions about childbearing, leading to lower fertility rates and delayed pregnancies. Societies with cultural norms that emphasize large families or early marriages may have higher fertility rates. Conversely, cultural shifts toward smaller families or individual autonomy can lead to lower fertility rates. Legal and social recognition of relationships, coupled with cultural expectations, may influence the timing and desire for children within partnerships. Access to and utilization of contraception and birth control methods, together with their availability, affordability and knowledge of various contraceptive options, enable individuals and couples to plan their pregnancies and control the timing and spacing of children. The prevalence and accessibility of safe and legal induced abortions can influence fertility rates. In societies where access to abortion is restricted, unintended pregnancies may lead to higher fertility rates. Conversely, where safe abortion services are available, Individuals have the option to control their fertility and family size. Fertility rates vary based on social variables, including religious affiliation, social class, region and country. Religious groups often have distinct beliefs and practices related to contraception and abortion. Social class also plays a role, with lower socioeconomic classes tending to have higher fertility rates compared to higher classes. Economic factors, access to education and employment opportunities can impact family planning choices. Geographical location is another factor as people in rural areas often have higher fertility rates compared to urban areas. Factors such as cultural norms, access to healthcare, and limited availability of contraception can contribute to this disparity. Moreover, fertility rates can vary significantly between countries, particularly in relation to economic development. Poorer countries tend to have higher fertility rates, often due to factors such as limited access to contraception, higher infant mortality rates, and a lack of comprehensive reproductive health care services. Public policy plays a significant role in shaping fertility patterns. Some governments implement restrictive policies to encourage couples to have fewer children, aiming to control population growth and address social and economic challenges associated with overpopulation. On the other hand, Certain governments adopt pro-natalist or fertility-stimulating policies that provide incentives and support to encourage couples to have more children, often driven by concerns of low birth rates, aging populations and potential workforce shortages. Culture, including religious beliefs and practices, 
strongly influences attitudes towards contraception and family planning. Religious doctrines may discourage or prohibit the use of artificial contraception, while other cultural and religious groups may have different perspectives on family planning methods. Economics also play a role in fertility decisions. The cost of raising children, including education, health care and other expenses, can influence fertility rates. In industrialized societies, the financial burden associated with child rearing may discourage some couples from having larger families, while in agricultural societies, where children contribute to family labor, the economic benefits of having more children may be more pronounced. Technological advancements in contraception and assisted reproductive technologies such as effective contraceptive methods and in vitro fertilization may also have an impact on fertility. The availability and accessibility of these technologies provide individuals and couples with more control over their, their reproductive choices, allowing them to plan pregnancies or address infertility. How can we measure fertility and reproduction? Fertility rates are commonly measured using several indicators, including the crude birth rate, total fertility rate, age-specific fertility rate, the replacement level fertility, and completed family size. The crude birth rate represents the number of live births per 1,000 individuals in a given population within a specific time period. The total fertility rate estimates the average number of children a woman would have during her reproductive years, assuming current age-specific fertility rates persist. It is a hypothetical measure of fertility that is independent of age structure of a population. It is the best single measure to compare fertility across populations differing in their age structure. Age-specific fertility rate measures the number of live births per 1,000 women in a specific age group. Completed family size reflects the average number of children born to women who have completed their childbearing years. The replacement level fertility is said to have been reached when the total fertility rate is 2.1. This means that roughly every couple has an average of two children. Other fertility rates include the married fertility rate and the unmarried fertility rate. To calculate these fertility rates, we divide the number of live births to either married or unmarried women in childbearing age, divided by the number of either unmarried or married women in childbearing age, and multiply this number by 1000. In the European Union, 42% of children were born outside of marriage in 2017. What are the data requirements and limitations of the crude birth rate? A complete and accurate vital registration system is essential for obtaining reliable data on fertility. Without such a system, estimating fertility rates becomes challenging. It is important to note that not all individuals in the population are exposed to the risk of pregnancy and delivery, which can lead to a crude estimation of fertility. Moreover, when comparing fertility rates across different populations, variations in the age distribution of those populations can significantly impact the birth rate calculations. Therefore, to ensure accurate and meaningful comparisons, a comprehensive understanding of the population structure and the implementation of robust vital registration systems are necessary. What are characteristics of fertility and reproduction? Fertility and reproduction characteristics include the age at first marriage, age at first childbirth, birth intervals, contraceptive use and infant and child mortality rates. These characteristics provide insights into the timing of childbearing, reproductive health behaviors, family planning practices, and child survival rates. 
What are the influencing factors on fertility and reproduction? Various factors influence fertility and reproduction, including social, economic, cultural and environmental factors. Social and cultural norms, educational attainment, access to healthcare services, availability of contraception, economic conditions, gender equality and government policies all play significant roles in shaping fertility behaviors. For instance, higher levels of education and employment opportunities for women tend to delay childbearing and reduce fertility rates. What are some international comparisons and trends? Comparing fertility and reproduction patterns across countries provides valuable insights into global variations and trends. Historically, high fertility countries have experienced a demographic transition with declining fertility rates due to socio-economic development, improved health care and increased access to family planning services. However, variations in fertility rates still exist between regions, with sub-Saharan Africa being the highest fertility rates and several countries experiencing below replacement fertility. The global total fertility rate is projected to decline to 2.4 children per woman by 2030 and 2.2 children per woman by 2050. How does fertility and reproduction impact societies? Fertility and reproduction have profound impacts on population dynamics, healthcare systems, economic development and social well-being. High fertility rates can strain healthcare resources, contribute to overpopulation and hinder socio-economic progress. Conversely, low fertility rates and population aging pose challenges such as a shrinking labor force, increased dependency ratios and potential strains on social security systems. In the last part of the video, I would like to talk about birth registration. What is the importance of birth registration? Birth registration is a medical document which is vital for ensuring legal identity, protecting children's rights and facilitating access to essential services such as education, health care and social benefits. Accurate and timely birth registration enables governments to plan and allocate resources effectively to monitor population trends and to develop policies to address population needs. It also helps in tracking progress towards achieving national and international development goals. The United Nations recommends collecting the following minimum data elements for live birth registration. We divide the data on data on the event or the birth, data on the infant and data on the mother. The data about the birth should include the date when the birth took place, the date when the birth was officially registered, the location where the birth occurred, such as a hospital, home or other specific place, information regarding whether the birth was a single birth, multiple birth or other spe specified type, and indication of whether a skilled health professional or other person attended the birth. The data on the infant should include the gender of the newborn baby, whether the child is born with a legally recognized marital relationship or outside of it, and the measured length in centimeters or inches and weight in grams or pounds of the newborn at birth. The data on the mother should include the age or date of birth of the mother at the time of giving birth, the number of previous children that were born alive, the date of marriage or duration of marriage, and a place of usual residence. Collecting these data elements for live birth registration allows for vital statistics to be generated, providing valuable information for demographic analysis, monitoring population trends, and planning for healthcare and social services. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful, and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.